right there you see a seven week old renaissance bulldog female gargoyles black magi he's uh, eating a chicken wing that has been thoroughly smashed with a mallet as I've mentioned in prior videos I don't cut the wings up when I feed them I just smash them thoroughly with a mallet because I'm teaching the puppy how to eat raw food they want them to learn to chew off bite-sized pieces otherwise if you cut it up into pieces waiting for the plane to go by the downside of living by an airport as I was saying I don't cut it up into pieces I like to feed it like this with the bones smashed because I'm teaching them how to eat raw food if you cut it up into pieces they have a tendency to gulp the pieces down without chewing them up especially in bull breeds that can be a problem this is how I remedy that right here you see gargoyles wrecker working on his own chicken wing and in the background there you see Lobo chewing on a fish he's just there during feeding to give him a little bit of peace while I'm uh, filming the puppies my dogs all live in the house Now one of the things I like to do as I discussed in uh, prior videos is I like to pet puppies. Now you'll see, he's a grouchy little guy. But that's why I'm, start, I'm starting with him now. I'm getting him used to being touched while he's eating. This curves any kind of food aggression. Now this is all juice. And I'm teaching him that I'm not a threat to what he's doing. I'm teaching him to be calm. And that's stuff. And again, this is pretty common in a young puppy like this. So by starting with them at this age, it helps. Yeah deal with this stuff in the future especially if you have children this type of stuff is uh, very important as somebody that uh, you know has been a long time animal warden part of my job was dealing with bite victims and the dogs that do them and you know the vast majority of bites that happen in the home happen because uh, you know people don't use very much forethought uh, and uh, they put dogs in situations that cause them to bite and again I film and I show this so you can learn what to do and again I'm just being nice and calm and petting him the worst thing you could do is to smack the puppy and to dominate him in this type of uh, situation you're basically just teaching the puppy might makes right and uh you know, later on when the dog's in the situation dealing with somebody that, uh, you know, it, it considers uh, itself to be higher in the pack over, it, it, it may lash out aggressively. And that's the, the type of stuff doing this and reacting to it this way prevents. But don't take my word for it. I'm just some guy on YouTube. I am a longtime animal warden, but, uh, you know, everybody has different views on this sort of thing. You can see he's calmed down quite a bit. Oh, stab. And again, I want my hand by his head here, by his mouth.
I'll do the same thing with Magi. And again, you know, some dogs are going to be more grouchy and less tolerant uh, than others in the beginning. So again, this is very important to do. You can see she's grouching a little bit at me. But again, because I'm pushing the boundary and I'm going over by your mouth. But that's intentional. I can't stress how important this is, whether you're feeding your dog commercial food or raw. Oh, that's okay, sweetheart. Grouchy little man, he's anticipating me coming in here. And he's got his sister there too. So I'll let them deal with each other first. Your wings over here, Magi. And this pup has a lot of fire, so he's going to take a little extra work in these type of situations. But it's rewarding when uh, you put the time in. Grouchy little man. Again, I'm intentionally by his head here in his mouth. I, I'm getting him used to being handled while he's eating. So eventually, I can put my hand anywhere by him when he's eating, and he won't presume, he won't view it as a threat. You know, right now as a puppy, you know, being from a large pack, you know, a large litter, he's used to having to jostle and compete for food. And I'm teaching him that he doesn't have to do that with me. Now when dealing with the other dogs, I let the dogs develop their own pack hierarchy. Because I think that develops a healthy pack dynamic. But when dealing with me, I don't want the dogs to view me that way. I don't want them to think that they're going to have to compete with the food I give them when I, when I or another human in the house here reaches down towards them. And you can see he's already calming down. You know, it takes a little bit of time, but by doing this every day with him, in just a matter of a couple of weeks, you won't even hear any growls. But this is the age to work on this stuff. You know, you, you don't want to wait until you've got a big, powerful, uh, you know, 80, 100 pound dog. You know, that's uh, an adolescent or young adult. This is the age when uh, you can really uh, imprint and mold behaviors uh, at a lot quicker uh, rate than you can when they're older. Right here, man, Jay. Right. She says, I want his. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that little window into uh, me working with uh, the dogs and teaching them not to be food aggressive. That's all. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Bye from Miss Magi and Mr. Wrecker. And Mr. Lobo, who's still eating his fish. Bye.